What I liked best about our student teacher, Mr. Leonard, was the fact that he wanted to help us. It never seemed like he was, it was a chore to help us. He was always walking around the room to everyone's computers, giving them equal attention, making sure everyone understood what was going on. Jason's using the voiceover box. Can you help me fix my audio levels? Yeah. Thanks. It's rendering now, or yeah, writing. Yeah, I know. Okay. But like, like, uh, because the mic that didn't work all that great. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can salvage that. It's just like you can hear the voices. Salvage. There's just that big buzz. Nerds. That's what Nick's having. Nick's yeah, having but, like, fuzz. You can hear my voices. Improvements I, can, improvements I can't really think of on the top of my head, but he has a lot of good strength. He has a lot of good uh, properties as a teacher, and I think that really if. If in the future, I think he'll be like like a really he'll be a really good teacher that everyone will probably look up to and ask for advice and you know I think he'll be really good in the subject that he will teach. He, as I said before, he's really educated on the program, the information, and he makes the class interesting. So the projects we did, the way he introduced them, he made them seem exciting and not boring like a normal class. Like this is why it's my favorite class because, like the teachers and like the things we do, the projects, <laughs> and he just made it seem fun. Something he could work on is nothing because he's just perfect. And so you should let Mr. Leonard work at your school. Pay the camera too and cue them. Hello and welcome to this Good edition time. of Mornings. I'm Liz Hong. And I'm Sierra Smith. Today is May 3rd and it's an A-Day. Take camera one. Take camera one. I feel like in addition to being really experienced and knowing a lot about the field. He has a good relationship with his students so they feel comfortable enough talking to him and asking him questions um, and not pressured or anything. So it's like the best of both worlds, comfortable teacher and knowledgeable teacher. Um, I actually definitely would hire Mr. Leonard and I hope someone does because he's, he's a really nice guy, you know, he's, he, he's, he's one of those young teachers that everyone just loves and you know, he just makes everyone smile, always has a good joke, you know. He's just in the wrap of everything, and I think he's just a really good teacher. And um, and also he knows what he's talking about, you know, he can think he'd be really good help involving in any class that he gets involved with. And I really hope that, you know, that someone really does hire him, because he'll be hiring a great employee. He had creative ideas for projects um, because one of the things he said is when it comes down to it, editing is editing and that's true. The one thing I love about Mr. Leonard is that, you know, he really tries his best to, you know, help all of us out during the class. Also, I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. So when like discussing with like peers and stuff, most teachers, like they have like students that don't like them or something. I don't know anyone that doesn't like Mr. Leonard. Everyone just loves him and thinks he's great. And I'm being serious because otherwise I wouldn't say this because he didn't even ask me this question because I'm, I'm just making up the question myself. And like because it really shows that he's able to connect with the students and able to get something done when doing projects because everyone likes him. That's, the end. That's very kind of you. You're welcome. Thank you, Emily. No problem. See you, see you later. Yep, good luck with your project. Th thank you. <laughs>